Now this bridge will not only be the greatest bridge in existence and a great work of art, it will be the greatest engineering work of this continent and of any age. This is the story of the building of the Brooklyn Bridge. The 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 bridge that created modern New York by first linking Brooklyn and Manhattan. It is the story of men who achieved the impossible, working deep beneath the riverbed and high above the city. It is a story of a father's vision, of his son's tragic inheritance, and of the woman whose strength and intelligence saved him and the bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge almost destroyed the family who created it. Now it stands as a memorial to their vision, sacrifice and loyalty. I've heard people say that the work of the engineer is boring, that it's dull, how wrong those people are. They should hear this story, the building of the Brooklyn Bridge. It is a 14-year saga that sold newspapers and enthralled millions. Every cutting collected and preserved for posterity by Emily Roebling. From the beginning, she was an unofficial historian of the bridge. Later, she would take on much more. This film is based on her scrapbooks. Imagine New York, it's a crowded, bustling city separated from Brooklyn by the East River. No one could imagine how the two could be joined. But one man knew how it could be done. He had been campaigning for 15 years. He was already an experienced bridge builder, the German emigre John Roebling, a true visionary. John Roebling is a brilliant engineer. He can see things other people only imagine. He's a genius. He's a genius. My father studied under Hegel in Prussia. He saw America as this great gateway to the imagination, this place where we could create amazing structures. His bridges in Pittsburgh and Cincinnati and over the rapids in Niagara, they're marvels. But he dreamed of the Brooklyn Bridge as his crowning achievement. My father had a way of talking which nothing sounded impossible. It was like magic. You believed. I thought to myself, why can't one build a bridge to span, to leap right across from Manhattan to Brooklyn? He says he's going to build the longest bridge in the world, a mile from end to end. He says he's going to raise towers high over the city, the tallest towers ever seen. These towers, with their great, great strength, will support these suspension cables, which will be like massive muscles. Dropping from these cables will be the wires coating the bridge like tendons. So imagine the thing, like Samson there. His bridge would be the longest, the strongest the tallest and perhaps the most dangerous ever built. Assisted by his son Washington, he hired a team of the finest engineers. He promised a monument 
to rival the hanging gardens of Babylon. But when this bridge is constructed according to my design, it will be a living testimony to the energy, to the enthusiasm, and to the wealth of the two cities that secured its construction. So this bridge will not only be the greatest bridge in existence and a work of art, but will also be, and I hope it will be, the greatest work of engineering of this continent and of this age. The bridge.